We're inside one of the actual units here in Boca Raton, Florida, that uh, Mike with Carbon Tile Care has actually treated uh, with the ozone gas. And Mike is an odor removal expert, and he's one of the most successful contractors that we have. You know, 40 ozone machines in, in constant application speaks for itself. And I believe that Mike's customers can't he can't get done with the job fast enough for his customers. Exactly. Uh, for example, again, my name is Mike uh, Varga from Carpet and Tile Care. I am uh, in business for the last 35 years. Uh, five years ago, I find Mr. Charles and his ozone machine, and I'm using them every single day. Why we are on the job site? I want to talk about a couple of things. This is brand new unit, brand new carpet, Somebody was smoking here in this unit 17 years. Uh, they were using another kind before they find me, uh, also a machine. They were here for eight days, nothing happening. Okay, why? So they actually use a competitor ozone machine also in this unit for eight days. Eight days. Uh, I find out that machine was only 1500 milligrams per hour. Now you can see on the kitchen countertops, that's one of Mr. Charles' machine, 28,000. That's now you can calculate only one machine. Uh, in this process, what I did after so many years do that process, most important guys is you coming on the job site, doesn't matter if it's brand new carpet or somebody smoking or not. Most important you can see, you must open all kitchen cupboards, included, for example, dishwashers, oven stove. Reason is people is smoking and you will never rid of that. Uh, so the smoke actually permeates into the dishwashing machine, into the oven, oven, into yes. the insides of the kitchen cabinets. Places that you know your average contractor that's just starting out in this business might never think to address. Exactly. The biggest problem is I'm not saying only in the Florida, that's everywhere, is people they're cooking, curing. Now you must understand, somebody was living in this apartment for 17 years smoking and on the top of it they were using curry. That's me inside cabinets, that's all wood, shelvings and everything is already from their cooking. You will never rid of it. That's why we have one machine staying here. That's mean that one machine will do all kitchens, included walls, dishwashers and everything. Another machine, what we can show you later on, is upstairs, because in the two-story, you need one machine upstairs. So you're, you typically, whether it's a house or an apartment or even a commercial building, you make sure you have equipment on every level. Exactly. Even though this machine is rated for this whole square footage, yes. you still make sure you're generating gas at each level of the unit. Yes. And you do that so you have no callbacks? No. Is that, is that the reason why? Yes. Yes. And the reason is reason is for future. For future, we have over 40 machines. Thanks God. And like for me, money wise is best. Why I will be here one day and which one machine start from upstairs to downstairs? For example, will be now we have two story apartments. I'm using two machines. Normally, if it was three story, you'd use three machines. We will be using three stories. And the reason is. I don't want to wait here all day. We are starting ozone treatment at 9 o'clock. We are allowed to go to any kind of property in Florida. And maximum in my last five years experience, we were not more like five hours. That means we have two machines, and after three, four, maximum five hours, we did complete apartments up to 1,600 square feet. So. You're running a five hour treatment with one machine per level. And this is a, what, maybe a 1500 square foot? Yes, apartment. correct. Yes, correct. That's mean uh, this is uh, actually extremely big apartments in Boca Raton. And now you're thinking 1600 square feet, that's actually average in the US house. Yes. It's 1600 square feet sure. too. Okay, now we are cutting. Again, I said five minutes ago, they have here machine for eight days. And believe me, we can see any kind different. So after eight days of a machine running 24 hours a day, 
eight days. Yes. It still smelled like smoke. Nothing happening. This unit was done last week, Thursday. That's me. Today is Thursday. This is seven days, and Mr. Charles, he actually came this unit, and still we can smell fresh. Fresh, everything is fresh because unit after our treatment was closed. That means this unit will be prepared for new tenants uh, for next minimum one month. Now, you're, you particularly focus on the apartment world and your business, right? Yes. And you do some, have some commercial accounts, I believe. Yes, we have too. And uh, so, but the majority of the, the treatments, are they doing them just for stinky apartments or are they doing them on a move-in, move-out basis? Uh, biggest problem is in the Florida, Mr. Charles, he knows I was living 17 years, uh, Fort Myers and Naples area, and we just, since they find out our ozone treatment, three months ago, we got a contracts for like 80 properties for property, and uh, I must move here because until today, in my knowledge and experience, we never find nobody who is selling this kind of machines uh, in uh, all Florida. Did That's that? the biggest problem. Nobody is selling them. So they're so they're your the biggest issue that you find is that nobody knows them, that it really they believe ozone really doesn't work well. You said here at this particular property. Uh, they have on staff maintenance. Yes. They own ozone equipment. Yes, everybody. And they us. still hire you day in, day out, week in, week out. Every because single Because the equipment makes all the difference and the knowledge. Exactly. Biggest problem is like you can see this apartment, uh, you know, they paint, all apartment is painted. You can see brand new carpet and you can see brand new resurfacing kitchen countertops. By the way, that's also do my company. And uh, now you can see they can find nobody. And uh, I'm dealing with Mr. Charles last five years, and I wish I will find him 20 years ago, because uh, people, believe me or not, after 35 years cleaning carpet, this treatment is gold mine, and this is only one company, only one company who I can tell you is working. I was searching the last 10 years, which another 35 different companies buy ozone machines. No one is work. Reason is what is in the US market is maximum two and a half thousand milligrams per hour. That's not enough. That's number one. That's why these machines can be here for next two, three weeks and doesn't work. Another problem is even this apartment is brand new, brand new, renovate, you will never move tenants inside because it's smart. That's right. That's the biggest problem here in the Florida. And people, they must understand Florida is even worse because that's moisture, mildew, and everything. Yes. And on the top of it, like people, they know, understand this machine also, what we do, how we start do all this treatment. We put AC unit on 72 Fahrenheit and fan on. That's mean the same time we are complete cleaning all airbag system in this unit, mold, mildew, bacteria. That's why we have so many contracts. We never charge extra, and that's 100% proof for tenants or owner of these properties is correct. People move inside who got an asthma problem, breathing issue, kids, pets, on and on. And it's really an important thing that you touched on is that making sure that when you do your odor removal treatment that you circulate the gas through yes. the HVAC system is a really big deal, uh, especially here in Florida. You know, I've been a mold remediator, Mike, for 15 years, and I have family that lives in Florida, as you know, and, and I've been to Florida over 100 times in my life, and every inspection I've ever done of the register boots, supply boots, and the, the return side, there's mold. There's mold inside the air duct system here. And, and Florida is not like up north. You know, up north we have a predominantly metal duct. And down here it's predominantly flex duct and then fiberboard. 
and that fiberboard can be full of bio-nesting areas for mold and bacteria and mildew. And when you couple that with the high humidity levels, the hot air meets the cold surface condensation effect, you really get a, a lot of uh, bio-nesting areas, places where bacteria and, and mold and mildew thrive. Yes, and uh, since I own so many machines, for example, I am state licensed for water restoration. That's the part of my another business, and we do water damages every single day. Since we dry every unit, now we came to the solution, uh, smell, for sure smell, water damage, you know, what we do after all units is dry, again, we use for actually a couple minutes, not latest, maybe 30 minutes, again, ozone treatment, uh, customers is very happy, before we come in next day, clean carpet after water damages. Yes. Okay. But we find down here in the Florida, so many people, they live, they are coming here only in the winter time. That's mean, unit is closed at least for five, six months. Some of them people, they want to save their money on the AC bill. Now after five months, they open units and what they find is mold, mildew and everything. Yeah. We are again first on the list how we can save these people even before they are coming enjoy sunny Florida for all winter time we, we clean units again. Oh, before. so you're doing this for the snowbirds that leave yes. their apartments or their houses closed up. Yes. They're, they're at home all summer back up yes. north and they come back down here and yes. prior to your treatments they were coming back to musty mildewy houses. Now you're able to return them to a fresh mold-free, allergen-free environment. Yes, and plus these people, the same time we do the same time their boats, because again their boats is parked front of the houses. Their RVs is again parked six months front of their houses. Like uh, So you're doing boats, you're doing RVs, you're doing houses, you're doing apartments. Airplanes. Airplanes. Uh, airplanes and now we are connecting all U.S. government, for example, do buses, buses. School, school buses, because that's the number one for mildew bacteria, any kind of bacteria oh, I believe it. in the bus. That's the biggest problem. Nobody thinks until today that's actually bus is worse and number one for any kind of bacteria. I bet that is you get a real heavy duty concentration of bodies. Yes. In a very small place. Movement. In a confined environment with no air handling system yes. to speak of. Yes, and they are not cleaned properly, sanitized properly. And uh, believe me, people, I'm so glad I met Mr. Charles now. We have another machine we can show you for future. And that's the best what I can find after 35 years clean carpet and in my water damage experience. So basically, what happened was we had a unit that a lady lived in there for 18 years yeah. in the same apartment, and she was a hoarder. And ah, they're still the worst. We found 18 rats, um, living or dead, both <laughs> in the wall outside, uh, roach infested. When I tell you roach infested, I mean mounds of roaches. Yeah, um, everywhere, live, dead, all over. I mean just. Never seen anything like it. The yeah. smell was so bad. You walk in three seconds later, you just had to walk out. The movers were dry even outside. They were like, I mean, it was that bad. Um, make a long story short, did, gutted the whole place out. She moved out, gutted the whole place out, tearing the, the wall, the drywall. I mean, everything. Had to. Had to. Had to. Yeah. There was no getting around it. Yeah. Um, that's when we found the dead rats in the wall. Well, anyways, make a long story short, put the drywall back up. Ripped up, sealed, sealed the concrete, put new drywall up, clean air ducts, my clean air ducts, um, everything you could imagine. And every time I walked in, we're like, man, the smell, it just still stinks in here. Like, I tried everything. And I said, Mike, put your ozone machine over here. That's right. He blasted it with like, I don't know if he put two or three of these. Yeah. And it's gone. Gone. Not only was it gone, 
I have pest control in there three times, four times. Yeah. You know, helped. But these things were, I mean, we're talking, the lady had her bed in the living room, and when she moved the bed, there was a mound that was probably two foot high of just dead roaches. Okay, I mean, it was disgusting. Yeah. So, that being said, you still, every once in a while, had, so after I put the ozone machine in there, there wasn't a roach to be found anywhere. Well, you know what's interesting about roaches? So, I developed the country's first and only patented uh, bed bug system. It revolves around ozone, even bigger machines than these. And but roaches, they find their way with scent trails. So they lay down a scent trail, and that's how the colony finds its way. And ozone actually will oxidize and destroy the scent chemicals that they use. Oh. So a lot of people don't realize this. So when you run an ozone treatment, roaches can't stand it because it's like making them blind or like a cutting a dog's nose off you know they lose their capacity to sense their direction and so they'll just find a better place to be if you don't kill them out right with the gas so right. it's kind of cool no and, and so it was kind of like by accident yeah type of thing and i said to mike mike said he had found some <laughs> dead roaches in his machine nothing crazy yeah um and so i passed along to other property managers and, other, and uh, we just recently, about a month or two ago, I had one call me up and said, man, we tried everything, we got roaches. I said, man, call Mike and tell him to put his ozone machine in there. I said, I don't want to guarantee you anything, but I can tell you that He's one not time. He's not telling control, doing odor removal, but in the end, those roaches sure don't come down. And uh, it worked. Yeah. It worked. So now my little so-called, I don't know, it was my trick, but yeah. a lot of these uh, supervisors and different uh, other my other guys don't know is use an ozone machine. Now, they don't know about Mike's ozone machine until I introduce Mike and sure. the other thing that um, nobody has what he has that I found yet. Yeah. Here or Fort Myers, Naples, uh, Boca, Fort Lauderdale, Miami. A lot. Do I know a lot? Of course, there's tons of people. So you probably may be. Well, there's a lot of competitors out there, but most of them really, to find a machine that makes a similar output, you're going to spend $2,800 and they break. Now, I know that there's, a, there's certain carpet companies that are, I don't know if they have to have a special license or they just have to have the money. There's the, the big ones, the big monster ozone machines, yeah. like I want to call them, yeah. not the little ones. Yeah. That's what I like about these. They're very small and easy to... Big punch. Now, the big ones, they're hard to find, but there were carpet companies that did carry them that get a bigger amount of space or stronger, I don't yeah. know the terminology, yeah. but... Yeah. Um, so they are those you can find. Yeah, those are like the Dell Ozone. They're like but these are great because machines. Mike can leave them in there. The guys can pick them up and put them in their maintenance shop when they're done. Mike can pick them up the next day. That's awesome. um, and I, I've been trying to get. So my, you're a satisfied. Extreme, you manage many properties, not not just a few properties. Oh no, we're talking many, many properties many. all over Boca Raton mm -hmm. in South Florida, mm -hmm. and you, Mike's your go-to guy when it comes to odors. Oh yeah. The, uh, let me, he has not put this in a unit that I have not been able to get rid of an odor. Whether That's, it be curry, whether it be dead rat bodies. dead rot, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you name it, it's yeah. it's worth. And you, uh, you gotta have had a few. I'm so amazed by it. I've been using it. And I'm like, I, I call him up one day and said, "Man, that thing is amazing." It just. So you probably have had a few dead bodies, I'd imagine, over your um, years. Um, three, three. And at that time, I didn't know Mike. Really. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, now you got to care for the next time. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I don't want to run into any more. Uh, but like well, I said, it is Florida. There are a few. Uh, you know, it's a great product. People. It works good. It's. Um, I can't say enough about it. Like well, I said, hey, man, I really appreciate you taking time to pop in while we were checking out this. Yeah. Project to Mike's and, and. I want. To, I want to get him. I want to get Mike. You know, I know what type of work he does. I'm all about customer service. That's what made me link on to Mike. Normally, I get a lot of vendors coming in and they do their sales pitch or whatever. I'm like, yeah, yeah. But the follow through's not there. I just, something me and him clicked and I liked his presentation. He's got, he uses the best product, you know, chemicals, machine, everything else. And then when he's doing the ozone machine, I tell you, you got to see it to believe it. Everybody can come and say, mine's the best. Mike is close to, he's right up there at the most amount of ozone machines of any one odor removal guy that I have. 40, he's got 40 machines. It's a lot of machines, and he keeps them working, which is yeah. even better. Yeah. It means he's making money, 
but you can make money too. That's it. So my thing is, like I said, if I can get him in and people are like, man, I can't get the smell out. If I can get him in there and they'd see, like, it's gone. Because, you know, sometimes odors are just really hard to get rid of. That's right. They got to see for themselves, like, I'm telling you, this will get rid of the smell. That's right. I sent Mike over to a unit. The guy, kid's like, man, remember Mike? He said, I can't get, I can't get rid of it. I can't get rid of it. He said, call this number. Talk to Mike. Get him over there. Go on. Well, you know, it isn't just the machine. There is skill involved with this business. There's a learning curve. And Mike, because he's so smart and he's so dedicated to what he does, has figured out all the tips and all the tricks and everything that it takes, and he's going to get it out no matter what. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thanks so much for your yeah. time. I greatly appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, man. That's